Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another meal prep video. As always, I like to give you guys just some little like pro tips of meal prepping things that have helped me. So one of the things that always helps me is to pull everything out when I start every like cooking utensil, um, the strainers, all of the meal prep containers I'm going to need for everything. I like to lay out a mat so I can do my dishes along the way, any pans. Um, I have my crock pot and then I also have my instant pot out. Um, all the food ingredients that I'm gonna need, at least for the most part, I mean, there's always something I need to go look for. Also like to start out with a clean sink. So, and then my list of course, and my water and my iPad. We're gonna start with the taco soup. I, this has to cook for like five hours, four or five hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it going. Um, you're going to need two cans of Rotel, um, two cans of beans. I'm using black beans and pinto beans. I'm gonna use some of this Kinder's taco seasoning and then my own homemade taco seasoning as well. Um, if you wanna see how I make that, I do have a DIY spice video and then some free range chicken broth. I also have the chicken straining in the sink. I'm gonna pat that dry, rinse it off really well and then put it into my crock pot. So I have my crock pot here, I did spray with some cooking spray. I'm just gonna take some of this taco seasoning just to season the chicken itself, just to make sure that we have lots of flavor on this. And then I'm going to add in my beans. I did go ahead and rinse them just so I can control the sodium in this. Uh, I just prefer to do it that way, but you don't have to rinse them. Now, since I make my own taco seasoning and this Kinder's taco seasoning has zero calories, this is a zero point meal for me because chicken is free. Beans are free for me on my um, points plan. So this may be more points for you depending on what your free foods are. You're gonna add in your two cans of Rotel. And then I also did add it in my taco seasoning. I forgot to show you that, um, but the taco seasoning went in there, the two cans of Rotel. And then we're gonna add in some chicken broth as well. So I do like to have this free range um, chicken broth from Imagine Organic. I just really, really like their chicken broth. I feel like it's just really rich tasting and it just doesn't have as much sodium again. So you can just control the salt in your own food. So I put about a half of the container in there. So this is a 32 ounce container. So I did about half of it is what I ended up doing. I just kind of, I don't really um, measure it. Um, I also did end up adding in, I lost a whole clip of things here. I added, ended up adding in two tablespoons of the ranch seasoning mix, but when I put like the big one you can buy at Costco, um, just to add a little bit more flavor, but when I put everything in the tracker, it still did not add any points in there because this is six servings. So it did not add any points in there. And then here's my taco seasoning, which I did empty out. So I have to have to get, make some more taco seasoning. Anyway, I'm gonna put the lid on there, put this on high on my crock pot setting and cook it for four hours. The next part I always do, as you guys know, is I do all my produce next. So I do all of my produce that I'm gonna need for my entire meal prep and for any dinners or lunches or anything else that I may need for the whole week. One of my lunches this week is going to be some lettuce wrapped sandwiches. So you'll see how I meal prep all of that. So I'm just trying to find the biggest leaves off of this um, is what I'm kind of doing right now. And I don't know how many of these I'm going to have this week. So I'm just gonna pull off the biggest leaves and I'm gonna rinse these off really well. Also, of course, want to cut up some veggies for hummus and for um, just for snacking on. So I have some cucumbers. I I'm going to air fry some of these bell peppers or these mini peppers for my taco bowls I'm going to have. And then I also need them for a sausage pepper and potato bake I'll be having for dinner this week. So again, I always try to cut up all of my produce for my dinners and everything so I don't have to do any prep for dinners. Green onions, as always. Um, I need a sweet onion cut up for one of my dinners and then cilantro for one of my dinners and then pineapple for one of my dinners. I'm making a pizza using that Polynesian sauce that I got at um, G Hughes that I got last week. So I found a pizza and you need um, pineapple for that. And then put mashed potatoes for one of my other dinners this week. So um, I want to get the mashed potatoes all done. Again, you guys know I work outside the home 40 hours a week. So I leave my house, you know, sometimes like 7.30 in the morning, I don't get home till almost five. So for me to have as much prepped as I can for dinners, I love to do that. So one of the things I'm gonna be having this week is copycat KFC bowls. So I wanna go ahead and get the mashed potatoes done now during meal prep, and then I don't have to worry about them when it's time to have them for dinner. And this will be a zero point for me because potatoes are free on my plan. This will be a zero point mashed potatoes. So I'm putting a big heaping tablespoon of garlic and I'm gonna 
cook that in with the water as these are getting softened. And then that way it has a little bit more flavor in there. So my lettuce leaves here, I'm gonna go ahead and wash these really well and then um, let them dry a little bit before we put them in the container. I'll kind of dry them off a little bit of paper towels. And then I'm going to store these in one of my little containers here with some paper towels all around them. And this is how I always do it. And here is all of my prep. So I have everything ready to go. So I have my veggies for snacking, my lettuce leaves for my lettuce wraps. Then I have my cilantro onions and green onions that I need for dinners this week. All of them ready to cut up. My bell peppers I need for dinners and then grapes I'll be using in my meal prep here. You'll see here in a few minutes. And then the pineapple is also for my dinners. So just great always having everything ready to go. It feels good. Yeah, it's kind of tedious and time, com time consuming on a Sunday, but this is just what works for me. I'm going to go ahead and throw these into the air fryer. So I just throw them in the air fryer at 400 for about seven minutes for the bigger bell peppers. These I actually could have done probably for five and they would have been a little bit, they came out a little bit charred this time. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil for the mashed potatoes. Again, I put that garlic in there just to kind of help infuse that, you know, garlic in, into the potatoes. And while those are going, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my mixy cauliflower rice. So for one of my dinners this week, I'm doing taco bowls and I like to make this Mexican cauliflower rice, zero points. It is so good and you taste just like regular rice. You guys will love this. So I make it a little bit different just depending on what I'm in the mood for. So I have a thing of cauliflower rice that I did let thaw out already. It was just sitting on the counter while I was doing all my prep. It's a little bit frozen still. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of chop that up and I do suggest you do it like that it's thawed out. So if you need to thaw it out, just put it in the microwave. Um, it just cooks a lot better and it cooks down and just tastes a lot better. I'm gonna add in some onion so in there. So I just usually do quite a bit of onion in there. Um, one of the things you can also add in are, is like a can of diced tomatoes. If I would have had one more can of Rotel, if I would have thought about it, I would have picked up another can of Rotel tomatoes and threw those in there. I'm gonna do this um, garlic paste and put that in there just has a lot more flavor and then I'm going to use up the rest of my tomato paste in a tube which I love this stuff when you just need a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. So usually for this I usually do like one to two tablespoons um, of tomato paste in there and I think I had about almost exactly probably almost two tablespoons by the time I was done. Since I used all my taco seasoning blend, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this Kinder's Taco Blend, which I love this stuff. It's spicy. It has like a jalapeno garlic in it and it's so good. So we're just gonna mix this around, just continue adding seasoning. If it feels like it's too thick, you can always add in a little bit of chicken broth, but I prefer to like let it cook down. So what I do is I let it cook down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn the um, heat down to low and let this just simmer until it gets nice and thick and kind of crusty because that's where all the flavor is. Meanwhile, for one of my desserts this week, we're gonna make some um, Greek yogurt pudding. So I have these things I got from Simply Delish. They sent me over um, these products to try. This is a strawberry one. I used to make something similar to this a long time ago when I was on Weight Watchers before. So I have a whole container here of um, a plain non-fat Greek yogurt. This is a Faye. You guys know this is my favorite plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Now if you're not a plain Greek yogurt fan, you may not like this. Um, although the pudding does add a lot of flavor, but some people say this tastes kind of sour, but I'm used to using Greek yogurt in place of sour cream. I use it all the time. As you guys know, plain yogurt, I use it constantly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the bowl and then we are gonna add in the pudding. Now, if this ends up being too thick, I'm gonna add in some cashew milk. So you can do this cashew milk, almond milk, half and half, non-fat milk, whatever you wanna add in, uh, or you can just leave it as is. But to me, it gets super, super thick. So it makes like a really good, like you can use the sugar-free cheesecake pudding and it tastes just like cheesecake, exactly like cheesecake. You can even put it in little cups like cheesecake, so good. Um, but we're gonna use this strawberry pudding. So it is super, see how thick it is? So we're gonna add in just a splash of cashew milk. It does not add any points because you can have like a full cup of cashew milk for one point. And this is gonna be four servings is what this is gonna end up being. So you just wanna give that a stir until it's the right consistency and you can just keep adding in um, until it's the right consistency. Now stay tuned for my what I eat in the day video that'll be up on Friday where I show what I eat the entire week because I have a couple ideas how I'm going to serve this. So stay tuned for that video. 
My cauliflower rice is all done. Now look at that sussy. You'll see like some little crusty bits. Well, that is flavor on this. So I let it simmer like for a long, long time. It just kind of has that fried rice consistency to it. It is so good, you guys. So I'm gonna throw this. This is really good in burritos as well. Sometimes I'll make big um, burritos with the, um, one of those air fried peppers and this cauliflower rice and then like chicken and re fat free refried beans. Oh my goodness, so good. So here's the peppers. You see they came out just a little bit more charred than I normally like them. So with these smaller peppers, I probably could have got away with just doing five minutes. But if you use regular bell peppers, they're a lot thicker. That I usually do about seven minutes on. But these are amazing. Um, we're going to do some hard boiled eggs to go in our little meal prep containers. So I like to do the 555 method where it's in my instant pot. We're going to put a cup of water in there, then add in my eggs. So I think I'm just going to do like eight eggs is what I ended up doing. I need three of them for my meal prep containers, and then the rest of them are just for snacking um, throughout the week. So I'm going to put this on the, either you can put it like on a steam setting, or I just do manual high for five minutes. And then I let it go to natural release for five minutes. So after that five minutes um, is up, then I let it do a natural release, which means you just let it sit in there for five minutes on its own. So that's what I do. And then we put it in an ice bath after that. We're gonna work on our mashed potatoes while the eggs are cooking. So I have my potatoes here, they're all nice and soft. We're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of this plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Then we're gonna add in a quarter cup of fat-free half and half. And this makes zero point mashed potatoes for me. I put everything in the tracker and because that little amount of half and half um, does not add enough points for this, we're gonna add in some salt and pepper. You can add in whatever else you want, but the garlic that I put in to that water, it still had bits of garlic when I strained it out. It makes such a good, good um, flavor to those potatoes. Anyway, you can add in whatever seasoning you want. I'm just gonna smash this up. Normally I'd use my mixer, but my husband was in the next room sleeping. He works graveyard, so I did not wanna wake him up, so I'm just using my potato masher. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put these into a dish, and this will be ready for the night that I have copycat KFC bowls. I could not stress it. I know I say this all the time, you guys, but if you have the time to do this on your days off, I highly recommend that you prep some of your dinner prep. It just really helps you stay on track, helps you stay with your meal plan, Helps you not do any of the grab and go stuff or stop for fast food knowing that you have half your dinner prepped already. Okay, so watch how easy these eggs peel after we put them in the ice bath. So we're gonna, I have some ice here. I'm gonna add water to the ice, of course, but we're gonna put the eggs right in there with the ice and then we're gonna let them sit in there for at least five minutes. Um, normally I, it sits in there for a lot longer, but this time I really let it sit for really just five minutes because I was done with pretty much the rest of my prep. So. I let that sit there for five minutes, and then I'm gonna show you how easy these peel, you guys. This is the best method. I feel like they came out really good. They, the yolks are always, I wish I would've showed you one of the yolks. The yolks are always really pretty and yellow, and they just peel so good. Like, I never have a messed up egg whenever I make them this way. And if, this is great for like holidays, like if you do deviled eggs, you know, on Thanksgiving or Christmas, because you can put so many in your Instapot. This is what we do every year. You can put so many in there and um, then that way you, and then they peel this easy. It is absolutely the best way. It just really steams them as it, I think it's what it ends up doing. I'm gonna have some of these good thins with my meal preps this week. So you can have, I think with 17 crackers, but I'm doing eight crackers, that makes it two points. And these are really good, by the way, I did end up trying them. Now this is for my lettuce wraps. So I'm just gonna do, gonna prep these ready to go for when I come home for lunch, then I just have to get my pieces of lettuce out and I can put my lettuce wraps together and then I have my little snacks here. So this is one of my lunches. My other lunch is gonna be that taco soup that I already started already earlier in this meal prep. So I have some of these grapes. Now I'm putting these in little separate containers because I'm gonna put some pickles in these and you know how pickle juice is. It gets all over the place. So I wanted to separate out the um, grapes and the parboiled eggs from that pickle juice. So then I have a big slice of the Black Forest ham that I got at Kroger, Fred Meyer Kroger store. Um, and so I'm doing a piece, so it's three slices of this ham or three slices of the buffalo chicken is one point. So I'm gonna do one big slice of the um, Black Forest ham and then we're gonna do two slices of the buffalo chicken is what I'll end up doing. 
and I'll just put this in with my lettuce wrap. I'll have either some light mayo, but probably mustard. I do prefer mustard on my lettuce wraps. You guys know how much I love that. So I have like spicy mustard, I have Dijon mustard, I have honey mustard, <laughs> I have um, a gray poupon mustard. I have all of those in my refrigerator right now. So um, one of those choices. So then I just have some, these little pickle stackers. So I'll put these on my sandwich as well. So I'm just gonna put um, two or three of these in um, to my container here. And then we're also going to add on some bacon. So I have this fully cooked um, bacon, oh, first mozzarella stick. I'm gonna put a, this is a light mozzarella stick. So I believe these are two points, one or two points um, for these. And now I'm gonna put the bacon. So this is fully cooked bacon. So I will probably heat this up a little bit, the bacon before I um, have it, but I'm putting two slices in there. A serving is three slices for two points, but two slices is also two points. But I didn't, I thought three slices is probably a little much for for my little lettuce wrap since I already have the ham and the pickles and the chicken. And now we're gonna add in a hard boiled egg to each one of these. So this is gonna be a pretty high protein, um, low calorie little meal here. So doesn't that look absolutely amazing, you guys? Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to have this. So again, stay tuned for my weekly what I ate this week video and you can see how these lettuce wraps come together. But yes, yum, yum. My, okay, fast forward like four hours, actually about two hours. And my um, chicken taco soup is all ready to go. That previous portion of the meal prep took about an hour and a half or so. You guys know I have to move my camera around and all that. So sometimes it takes a little bit longer than if you weren't filming. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred up this chicken inside here. You can take the chicken out or you're gonna shred it within this, which is what I ended up doing. I just got two forks and shredded it. Put it in my meal prep containers. Um, this actually makes six servings, but I just have five containers here. Um, and then I'm gonna put some pickled jalapenos on top. Now, my son also eats these and he can eat the same thing every single day. I am not like that, that's why I always have options for myself. But, um, so he'll take four of these. He, he works a four day work week at the school he teaches at. So he will take four of these. I will have one or two, cause there's one more off camera that you can't see. Um, and then, um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do when he moves out, y'all. He's getting ready, he's gonna be moving out this summer. I don't know what I'm gonna do because he like, I can make all these meal preps for you guys and I'm not gonna be able to eat them all. So we'll have to see how that changes coming this summer. Anyway, that wraps up our meal prep for the day, you guys. And thank you guys as always for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Check out the description box for any links that I have to share with you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.